Well, how do there, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves? And yes, I've gone early on my old stream. I mean, that happens quite a lot anyway, to be fair. Hopefully you all got your five-minute warning from the old YouTube with your notifications anyway. But I'm going to be jumping in and pressing on with the Atlas Pass inside of No Man's Sky. So let's jump on over into game. Chikapow! Right there, let's get comfortable. Right, so I've gone into the old log. I've selected the Atlas Path and we're away. I guess we are. So I want to align myself with the actual Atlantid in this save. I don't know whether I've done enough of the journey milestones to get all the way through the Atlas Path. So, you know, this is just the first couple of steps. Right, -o, so we need to jump to the galactic map and see if there are any Atlas interfaces on the actual star charts. Let's have a look, see. Oh, um, there appears to be something over here. What is that? Uh, it's got a marker there. Um, is it the marker I want? I can't select mission, so we'll go there anyway. Can't hurt, can it? We're off on an adventure, people. An adventure, I guess. So, I have been having a separate adventure in the old Dragon's Dogma 2. I must say, I'm really enjoying that game. It is pretty darn awesome. I don't know whether I prefer Dragon's Dogma 1 to Dragon's Dogma 2. Maybe I haven't given Dragon's Dogma 2 enough of a chance as yet. But yeah, there's a, there's, there are reasons as to why. I will do a review, but once I get so far in, you know? I don't think I've given it enough justice yet to jump in and do a review. Hello there, Rad Dragon 72Q. Hey, Captain. First, it's a fresh start. This is a start that I hit on up after the Omega update happened. So this is like episode 9. But this is the first step of doing the Atlas Path. So, yeah. Uh, maybe I need to actually bring up an Atlas station. Because I'm not seeing one on the old um, spin around right now, people. Okay. Righto. Well, here we go. Let's um, let's hit on up the old Nexus then. And we'll go and speak to Polo. And see if Polo can give us the first Atlas interface to get ourselves started. I guess. Well, hello there, Leos. Welcome, welcome. And we've also got Ed, old explorer. Well, welcome there, Ed. My girls. Now, I haven't done the Atlas Path in such a long time, people. So if you have got any pointers or things that I'm missing or just not picking up, let me know. Um, but yeah, it's. I want to align this save with the Atlantid and keep my PlayStation 5 save aligned with the Atlas. That's the actual aim anyway, peeps. Now, this uh, suit that we've got is kind of very Atlas-inspired, though, isn't it? So, you know, maybe we might get given an Atlantid armour set in the next big update. Who knows? I'm kind of thinking that's where they would go with it. Makes sense, doesn't it? There you go. Let's jump into here. Um, tell Apollo about... Oh, yeah, tell him about 16. Sweet. Okay, he, ooh, he seems to be going all caserty as well. Okay. Cool. Anyway, yeah, I want the Atlas station, please, my friend. Sweet. Thank you. Okay. Hopefully he's going to let uh, let me go to the Atlas station now. Good morning, folks, says Nick Vat Sam. Well, hello there, matey. And we've also got Pharaoh in the house. Hello there, Pharaoh. I did this with my Omega as well. Yeah. Well, because I've added in this whole Atlas path immortal, I kind of wanted to see what was going on. Ah, uh, gotcha. Wasn't sure if you were continuing on from the last one or the Omega. So I finished doing the Omega Expedition on this save, and then I thought I'd just jump straight over and start doing everything else. So it was the Omega Expedition, straight after that, straight into game. Right, Atlas Station. Boom. It's going back the way I just came. All right, cool. Flying there then. Zoom. Is the Atlas Path flying to the actual centre of the galaxy? Or is it actually hitting up all the Atlas stations and crafting the actual seeds? I think it's crafting the seeds. I can't go into the mission screen now, but I think that's what I've got to do. I don't think it is travelling to the centre. Even though that would be quite good fun anyway, in a roundabout way. Or is it? It's just loads of warping, isn't it, really, to be fair? I mean, I could use the uh, portals and just use the sunset. That gets you, like, a stone's throw away from the centre in any galaxy, doesn't it? Make two sets of seeds. You need the second sun seed later on. Okay, Chris G. Will do. Keep an eye on your mission log. As the last time I did, it kept changing missions on me. Ah, okay. 
Let's have a quick look. See, make sure it's still on the right one. There we are. Return to the Atlas interface. The Atlas called for an exploration for travellers to sample the reality it wishes to have been fulfilled. blah de blah de blah Okay, cool. Yeah, we're going in here then. Ah, they have revamped all the colours in here. I can already see it's got a bluish sort of hue on the outside. So yeah, I haven't, I haven't really gone into an Atlas station since they've updated all the looks and shenanigans inside of here. So hopefully it looks a bit more jazzy as we're doing this. We keep an eye out as well to see if they've changed any of the lore. I have learnt all the Atlas words, so hopefully everything's going to make sense. I could step on some of those little orbs to see if they've added in any more Atlas words. I doubt it, though. I know they've added in some for the races, though, haven't they? So who knows? Let's go step on a couple. Let's see if we can pop any words, but I, I don't think so. Yeah, Atlas communications are fully mapped. Nice. Coolio. Well, let's just go talk to the dang thing, then. We're on our way, Atlas! I guess. Chicka pow Chicka boom might as well nick the warp fuel if I can from these pedestals. Yep, that's exactly what you do when you stand in front of something that calls itself God, is nick whatever it's got. Uh, you really wouldn't, would you? Endless night unfolds before existence. The seeking of the kindred never ends. Wonder and fear, silence and delight, knowledge awaits. It's weird that it's in purple. Normally purple is like the Atlantid, isn't it? Or or Corvax text. Red is usually to do with the Atlas or to do with Sentinels or the Viking. Oddities. Another Atlas interface. How many of these constructs exist in the deep void? How long have they been slumbering, waiting for a traveller? Have they been expecting me? Am I somehow chosen? The Atlas crafted this existence. The Gek, the Viking, the Corvax, the stars that fill the skies, and the hatred that burns within the deep. The hatred in the deep? Every world that turns and every form that lives, the Atlas offers it all. Okay, consent. I've got Juno above, I guess. Boom. Lovely. And we've now learned how to make that. Lovely. Okay, well, um, I can already make that. Uh, wrong button. That's the right button. Have I got some space inside of my inventory? Let me scroll down. Dang you. Chicka pow! Done. Alright, well I guess we're off to the next Atlas interface then. Oh, thank you, Ed. I'm good old XO for letting me know that I was about to freaking succumb to being suffocated. Nice. Cool. Right. Well, uh, let's head on out then, shall we? The end is never the end, says Dark Lord Zelric. Make no. no. Chris G, make two sets. Oh, yeah. Make two sets of the seed. You'll need the second sun seed later on. Oh, okay. All right. Can I just duplicate them towards the end? Probably could, couldn't I? Coolio. You're right, Midnight World Spirit. Welcome, welcome. Okay, right. Well, let's, um... Will it... If I call in Polo and ask him to give me another Atlas station, will he find one on the galactic map? Hold on, let me just... Let me just have a look, see if there's another one on the galactic map now. Has it already locked one in? It has! Brilliant! I didn't even have to go see Polo. I did wonder. And we're off again! I guess! Lovely! Jubbly! Yeah, I could just get all these uh, seeds and stick them in some sort of cache or duplicate them towards the end, I suppose, rather than make double entities. But do you really need a second one? I don't know. I'm just going by the advice of what's been given there, to be fair. Still abusing custom and duping to get things done, says TQ Batman. Uh, yeah, we will do. Yeah, I'll jump into creative mode every now and again if needs be. If it gets me to where I need to go a little bit quicker and duping, you know, if Hello Games are going to leave it in-game, might as well. I've done all this on my PlayStation save. So, you know, if it was my very first playthrough, no, I wouldn't ruin it for myself. But considering I've got over a thousand hours, you know, going to shoot some rocks, is, it really just doesn't do anything for me, I have to say. Got you. Let's fly on in then, yeah, um, and barrel roll as we enter in through the door. 
Ow, oh, ow, ow. That went wrong, didn't it? Sweet. Yep, you can keep going. The next atlas will be marked via the story. Nice one. I don't know whether that was the case before. I thought you had to do like three jumps before and then it would give you another atlas station or you had to go and speak to Polo. I remember it being far more annoying. This seems to be a little bit more straightforward. Oh my god, this, lo this looks like some sort of leviathan from Hellraiser, doesn't it? It looks all fleshy inside. Okay. The last seat, Heart of the Sun, you need two. One for the perch and one for the path. Ah, okay, fair enough, that makes sense. I have got the purge already locked in as a secondary mission. I want to align myself on this one to the Atlantid. So I don't really know what's overly involved in that. Hopefully I don't go and press the wrong button at the wrong time. But yeah, we want to get the orb of the Defier, apparently. I don't know. There's other quests that gives you the heart of the sun, so no dupe needed. Ah, oh, nice one. Thank you, Dark Lord Zalric. The sands of reality shift and merge and becoming one. The wars between worlds fall. You must make restitution. I was born within with everything I needed to explore these worlds. My exosuits, my ship, every tool and every impulse led me to scan and give name to whatever I could find until the Discovery server wiped them. But this, I cannot give no name to what I see within the orb. I see wells that never were. I see the string of something primal. The stirring, sorry, of something primal. Undeniable, I see the death cry of a god or something approaching it. It wants me to persist in this journey, seeking fragments of its interface. The stones of the atlas, it rejoices at my repetition, my compliance, my cloud of unknowing. Okay, well... We've also got that milestone. Yeah, I don't know how long I'm going to get away with this for before I actually reach my milestone limit, because obviously I haven't done a lot. Boom. Make that one. And we're off again. Off on an adventure. Thank you, lovely jubbly. Oh, we've got Dr. Pong in the house doing his Jedi wave. Hello there, Dr. Pong. So yeah, people out there in the viewerverse, if you haven't checked out Dr. Pong, she's got a lovely channel, channel, check her out. She was on some travels the other day. Hopefully you're back now, Dr. Pong, I guess. Little Mondo. Lovely jubbly. Also does No Man's Sky content as well as other games. Got a lovely little dog called Noodle. Right then. And up into the old galactic map. And away we go to the next Atlas station, peeps. Here we are. So there's a lot of loading screens in this. It does give me time to catch up with the old live chat, which is lovely. Oh, I've done a video today, people, based on my poll on my community tab. So yeah, if you haven't already done that, it's kind of a bit too late now because I made the video. But yeah, going into a depth on everybody's comments, it's about an hour and 20 minutes long. So I'll be putting that live probably on the Wednesday or Thursday of this week. I'm actually in the office now for work on Wednesdays and Thursdays, so I try to make videos at the weekend that I can then put live on the Wednesdays and Thursdays of the week. Yeah, and then the days that I'm not in the office, and I've still got energy and I'm awake, the Mondays, the Tuesdays and the Fridays, I do live. So it's working out okay at the moment, this whole returning to work thing, but at the moment they want me in 60% of the time. I bet you it's not too long before they say, we'll like you in for 70% of your time, and then it'll be 80% of your time. And then I'll just be in office all of the time. And then I don't know what happens to my YouTubes then. Maybe I'll probably just do the, the Friday weekend missions or something live, and maybe do weekend content. I don't know. We'll see what sort of energy levels I can muster. If that ever happens. It might not ever happen. I might be worried about naught, people. Hang up. Drove to Monterey and back, 325 miles each way. Went to meet a friend from Leeds. Holy fudge, Dr. Pong. That's a long way to go, isn't it? Hopefully you had a good time, though. Right, we're jumping out. Come here. Unrelated, I filled my freighter with red orbs again. Did you? Red orbs? Holy fudge. Okay. Red orbs of what? Do you mean those balls? They, I don't know. I have no idea what you're on about with red orbs. Okay, we can't nick anything. They've taken away the pedestals. So now I've got llamas on the freaking thing. Question, nothing. Fear, nothing. Um, 
No, I question a lot, and I, I do fear a few things, like falling backwards off of ladders. I don't like that feeling. It makes your stomach go all queasy. The calling cannot be denied. This is what you are. I feel the stirring of heresy within my mind. At each interface, an atlas stone awaits me. I'm driven to gather them. But to what end? Why does the omnipotent require my prayer? What is wrong with the heart of existence? Is that its creator requires this pilgrimage, this dance of grinding stones? Okay, cool. Well, we'll do that then. We've got the antimatter. Okay, right, well, let's, let's go craft that one then. Right, I'm just going to delete something here because I, I get fed up with scrolling. There you go, boom. We're done. Let's go. We're off again, people. We're off again to the next interface until they actually refuse me because I don't think I have the milestones high enough. I haven't done the whole um, surviving on an extreme planet. I haven't found zoologies on every single planet. Let's have a look. Where are milestones now? Are they in here somewhere? They're in milestones, aren't they? Total milestones achieved, I think. They're somewhere around here. Galileo. I'm on Galileo right now. All right. Fine. Survival milestones. Wanderer. I don't freaking know. It all looks different from when I first played. It was far easier to understand where you were of the milestones. It listed them like, like 10 in a row or 11 or something stupid, wasn't there? I think. I don't know. When we get stuck, we get stuck. There we go. Now, pow, and over to there, and away we go again, people. I guess, yes. Lots of companies are forcing five days in the office. I'm waiting for the email from my work, says Red Dragon. It does seem to be that it's stepping back up that way. Both my brothers have been given return to notice to work, you know, but they were moved away to rural areas because they said, well, you know, this remote working could last forever and flexibility and all that sort of stuff is good for mental health every workplace was banging that drum saying yeah you know this new way of working we're going to just stick to this mm. kind of recanted on that slightly yeah plastic frog in the refrigerator oh yes you saw that video my little vlog yeah i'm collecting these gashapon toys they're japanese there's like these little vending machines you trade money for tokens you put them in the machines and you twist this thing you get a ball and you get like a random toy so, well, kind of random. You pick the machine you want. So you can go for Gundam, you go for Dragon Ball. I like these little realistic looking geckos and frogs. And I've just been dotting them about the house. And you know, they have been scaring Ivy quite a lot at regular intervals. Yeah. <laughs> I put a frog in the fridge today. So that video's out there now if you want to see that one. It's on my channel. Beeron presents. Hi all. Well, hello there, Beeron. And welcome, bruh. Hello there, bruh. Nice one, bruh. I had a video on it the first time I did it, says Dark Lord Zorik. Ah, fair enough. Cool. Unrelated. Oh, you filled your ship with red orbs again. Okay, I'd have to go check out your channel then, Dark Lord. To be fair, I don't... I, I know that you've got a channel, and I also know that you know, Kibbles used to have a channel. But to be honest, I don't, I don't see them pop up in my feed. So I don't know when you've done something new. I think I'm subscribed. Oddities. If you want to share a link to your video, Dark Lord Zeric, slap it into the old chat. I don't think I've restricted it, anyways. Oh, well, here we go. Delay serves no purpose. Bring it to us while there is still time. When I dream, I see the Atlas. When I see the Atlas, I am the dream. I see sentinels swarm through the universe like an infection, emerging from the world of glass. There you go, the world of glass is where the sentinels are from. It's there, in black and white, clear as crystal. Everything is happy there. Everything will live. Kind of interesting that they say everything is happy in the realm of glass. I kind of see the realm of glass as a firewall, and the void, what lurks behind it. You know, we've seen all those infested, those infested nest planets. I think there's some sort of virus happening with the atlas. That's why we see the worms, worm virus, and all that sort of stuff, you know? I see portals. I see travellers that walk between them. I see the span of history. I see everything as the Atlas sees it, alone, abandoned and terrified. Oh, you just want to give it a hug, don't you? But what power could it instill fear in the heart of the Almighty? It asks for something. It wants to know that I understand. Well, we give Kepler or higher. 
I have become the harbinger, the pathfinder, the seeker of ways. Through me, the universe will know itself. Okay, well, we'll, we'll go craft that one now as well. Dilly D. Chickapa! And it's in. Yes. And we're heading back out to the old galactic map. Seems that we can just proceed. I thought I would have become a bit of a scupper before now, and I would have had to focus on my milestones for a bit. But you know what? I'm doing better than I thought I would. You posted it in self-promotion over on my Discord. Thank you very much. Heck yes. Oh, there you go. Old Explorer just dropped a link for you there, Dark Lord Zelric. DLX, there's a link to your channel inside of the live chat. Lovely jubbly. Uh, yeah, I'd have to go hit that up myself after this stream and have a look-see. All right, here we go. Boom. I'm curious about these red orbs, you see. But the only thing I can think of is like the sh the um, the ball fabricator, but I don't think you can put them inside of your freighter. So, interesting. Cool. And we're off. Nice one. Thank you, old explorer, for dropping the link. Nice one, nice one. Ah, good old Warpie isn't about as often as he usually is, is he? Is it, 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 I haven't seen him in the old live chat. I think he's kind of got really into Helldivers too. I know he's got a few different squads going on, and also a conflicted gaming site. I think he helps out over there a lot more as well now. And he's a moderator at, all over the freaking shop now, isn't he, good old Warfy? Good guy is Warfy, heck yes. But yeah, if any of you guys want to put links in, or do whatever mods do, feel free. Heck yeah. Boom. And we're off. I've got enough mods here. Everybody with a blue spanner is a moderator. Sweet. Let's head on in then. Next Atlas interface. Here we come. Zoom. Open sesame. Wow. Thank you, Ed. So, I've been 3D printing a lot for the old meetup. So these are the little mini alpha vectors, like building kits. You have to glue all these together. I'm going to be giving those away to whoever wins the quiz that's at this year's meetup. And then I'm also going to be taking along some bits for the raffle. So I've made this card stand that's got like a runner ship on it and it's got a normal atlas card there as well a little stand that says about the meetup 2024 but i've also printed extras of both the ship and this so these and i'm giving those away to people that actually um support my pc build yeah got some news about the pc build hopefully coming soon people i'm out of the old ship because i am hoping to build an awesome pc and maybe jump over to Star Citizen to cover that for a little bit as well. Because Squadron 42 is nearing completion. And they are also talking about adding Fauna to planets, which is going to be freaking epic. Expel all doubt. None return. Beyond the cascade and the storms, there is only clarity. The act of discovery for discovery's sake now seems like a foolish concept. I have rejected the path of the inherent. I have rejected the call of the stars. Soon I'm going to reject the Atlas as well. Rejection seems to be a ploy of mine. Only the Atlas matters now, not much longer. With each encounter, I feel as if I understand little more. All of us are what we are. Evil arrives in the individual and goodness is not enough. True greatness lies in sorrow, in the embrace of what we must become. There we are, conform. There has never been any other choice than this one. I go on, we go on. Eternal, forever searching. Oh no, I have not got the copper that I need to create this one. We may have to go to a planet and get some copper. Okay, right. Let's go do that then. Let's go grab some copper from a planet. Heck yes. Head on up the stairs and fly out in my ship. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing I can actually transmute into copper. I've got, I turned all my copper into frickin' chromatic metal. I mean, I could just flip it into creative mode and just craft it, couldn't I? But then again, we could probably do a little bit of a break from doing the old Atlas path for a second while I go dig up some copper. Couldn't see any planets for a second there, people. Fun times. Yeah, there's copper right there. It's a dissonant starball world that doesn't appear to have water from up here. It might have as we go down. It might have orange grass and orange water, which would be pretty cool for a ringed planet. 
It's got Diplos on it. That could be a freaking special one. But um, I don't think we're going to be so lucky. I'm not seeing any water. Right, though, it's going to be really tough to spot a copper deposit on a bright yellow freaking planet, thinking about it. We've got a monolith right here. Not that we need to go to a monolith for any reason. And if it's a Corvac system, though, I might get a pretty cool multi-tool. Let's land there. I don't know whether this is a Corvac system or not. If it is, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Grab myself a lovely alien-looking multi-tool. Ah, I don't see the purple spot there. Could be around the other side. Um, no. Alright, fine. We're going to do the puzzle anyway, just for a, sh you know, a bit of a laugh. Sweet! Come, come, come! Yeah, la, la, la. I feel faint, as if my mind has been invaded. Pulsates on my screen, skin grow. Bubbles and pop. I feel countless tiny stabbing pinpricks and scabbing from each gaping hole. This doesn't sound very pleasant. Suddenly, metal spiders. Ah, oh, yeah, I know this one. Perhaps tiny spiders run up from my shoulders. Blah, blah, blah. Just wait. Hallucination fades. Yeah, I win. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Nice one. Cool. This is a Corvax monolith. Ah, uh, maybe it's because I haven't found an echo camp yet that it hasn't triggered the multi-tool. That's probably what that is. All right. Anyway, let's have a look for copper. That's why we're here anyway. You're sodium. You're not copper. Dang it. All the music's gone freaking weird as well now. Paraffinium. Paraffinium. Oh, balls to this, mate. Okay, right over there. Sodium. Okay, right. I can't see the dang stuff. Right, galaxy. You asked for it. Boom, yes. I want to change that. And then I go into here. And we craft the next one, which is that one, isn't it? Done, dilly, and done. Yeah, I know. People will probably say, Captain Steve, that's cheating. You should have gone and found your copper. Well, yeah. If you didn't put me on a Blinking planet with no copper on, then uh, yeah, I might have done. Right, let's go. Here we go. Let's take to the skies. Meow. Zoom. Star Citizen is interesting, but I can never find anything to do that takes in the views. Well, that's why I'm waiting for Squadron 42, because that's going to have a narrative and an actual sort of story. And it's got awesome actors and actresses in it. It's going to be freaking epic. So, yeah, I'm hoping to have my PC built for when it's out there patched and is working, you know? Because I think they're going to start putting it into beta if they haven't already. But I kind of want to get on board when the game is, is good, you know, Red Dragon? So, yeah. I mean, Star Citizen is quite a difficult game to do content for. But I have seen some really, really cool like, little movies that people have made inside of Star Citizen. Because now you can actually have it where you're lip synced. So when your microphone sounds... It, it actually your move your mouth moves so you can make some really cool like little mini movies inside a star citizen but at the moment the galaxy still feels quite empty there's no fauna or there's nothing on the planets to make it feel like it's an alien planet or world so until that happens i'm not going to jump on in because i agree it, it's just making content that might feel a little bit empty and especially since traveling from one place to another isn't like this, where you get like, you know, 10 seconds of a load screen. No, you're going to be traveling for a good half an hour or so. If I do do Star Citizen content, it's going to be very structured in a way that I've already got to the planet that I'm going to. Or it's going to be, I'm going to take off now and I'll see you next episode when we get there. You know, that sort of stuff. Or I'm just going to make it all pre-edited and I'm just going to either do a time lapse of the travelling or just bring the, the best bits of the travelling in. It, it's, it's not going to be hours of just watching me fly through space, basically. I want to try and make something interesting and fun. You know, like how I did with this when I, I first on my very first channel and I, I used to voice act for EXO and all that sort of stuff. I'm hoping to do something like that maybe in Star Citizen to make it more interesting, but it has to be when Squadron 42's in there. Bringer's meaning, if you are capable. 
What is learned can never be unlearned. I'm afraid that I have seen too much. There is a glimpse of half-remembered visions of time before time. I see the birth of the first star. I see things that were dwelt within it. The eyes that watched. I see what the Atlas saw at the moment of its first activation. Does that sort of give you sort of vibes of light no fire there, people? Because it does me. Atlas stones are not just stones. This station is not a station. I am not what I think I am. I am not even sure that I exist. The Atlas doesn't care. The Atlas demands in the Theonody. It's repetition, sublime. I have no idea what Threnody is. Okay, there we go. Let's get this. I silence my fears and renew my dedication to the path. Only the voyage matters. The destination calls to me. Now, I know this game is earmarked for 12 and up, but some of these words, I'd say, are a little bit sort of, you know, crazy and out there for 12-year-olds, to be honest. All right, anyway, let's um, let's get rid of... No, we don't need really... Yeah, we'll get rid of them. And I'll create that one, then. There we go. Done and dusted. I guess. I mean, when you say there's no duplication required for the Atlas Stone, or Atlas Seeds or whatever, you can just pop it into creative and create another one anyway. You know, it's, it's neither here nor there. Cool, but thank you for the tip. Cyber Zero. 07, Captain. Well, 07, back at you, mate. Hi, everyone. I used Assistant No Man's Sky, and Gavin refined all the seeds' ingredients first. Pharaoh, that's pretty wise. Oh, Star Citizen. That game, Captain Steve. Yeah, there's a few games I want to play on my PC, not just Star Citizen. So I want to jump back into Nightingale and take a look at it. Uh, you know, because it's, it's had a good fair few months now. And my PC just doesn't do it justice. And it's a beautiful game. Oh, fudge. I've got no fuel in my hyper hyperdrive. Right, hyperdrive, where are you? Yes, there you are. Chicka boom. Stick that in there. Yeah, so I want to play Nightingale again. Also, right now, Light No Fire, we only know that it's coming to Steam. Okay? It's only got a Steam page. We don't we don't know for sure that it's definitely coming to all the consoles at launch. So I definitely want to have my PC ready for Light No Fire. Because it could be that I hit it up on that before I hit it up on consoles, depending on how low games put it out there. Uh, there is another game that I like the look of that's Coming out really soon, I'm not going to have my PC built in time, and that's called Manor Lords. That looks really quite cool. It's a bit like Settlers, but in 3D. Yeah, that one looks very, very awesome. Um, but yeah, you, you build like your own little settlement, and every single occupant in your settlement actually forms part of your militia. So the bigger you make your town, the bigger your army gets, and the bigger your manor. It looks quite cool, very medieval, but it's kind of almost like a real weldy simulator. It's like if you want to craft something out of wood, you've got to get your lumberjacks to go cut down the trees, take it to the lumberyard to create your wood. It's very engaging, very in-depth. I don't know whether I've got the time and effort to put into it, but it does look like a game that I would have loved to have played in my youth. I don't know about now, because finding time for anything now is, you know, in between having a real-time job, a, a, a missus, YouTubing as a hobby. I, I prefer games now that are more casual gaming. Games that you can just save and turn off whenever you like. A bit like this, a bit like Dragon's Dogma. But it's like if my PC was built right now, I could actually welly up all the graphical settings on No Man's Sky. Because right now, this is my PC right now that I'm playing. And here's my graphical quality that I have right now in here. Look. So I've got some on Ultra, but it's a bit of a mix, a mash. I want everything on Ultra, you know. I want to deliver you the best experience in the Viewerverse, to be honest. And right now my PC can't really do that at the same time as capture footage or live stream. But hopefully it will, once I've built my PC out. And also, a lot of indie titles come to PC first. There's a few indie titles that I might look at more in depth. There's a game called Under a Rock that I've got my eye on. I've got my eye on another game called Towers of Azkaban, which should come to console, but there's a chance that might come to PC first too. Anyway, you shall see through our eyes. You shall be as we are. Do not be afraid. All these worlds are yours. I have become the servant of this ancient sentience. It guides me through the cosmos, ever searching, never deviating. 
Have others come before me? Have others faltered upon the path of the Atlas? Only an ending in resolution arise. Resistance will not be permitted. I will resist at the end. The Atlas wishes to know what it's like to create. It wishes to share some portion of its being. I sense that it cares deeply about this journey, that it's trying to show me something I cannot articulate through words or demonstration. Yield, Hubble or above. I have no choice but to proceed. This is destined. It is the program. I have always been searching and I cannot falter. I do like the text inside of this, people. Anyway, I haven't got Emerald by the looks of things either, have I? So here we go. Let's do that again then. Let's just get all the lore, because I'm liking reading this, to be honest. I have my good days and bad days when it comes to reading, and today seems to be a fairly good day. Right, here we go. The difficulty. Back to normal. It's probably got something to do with my spine. My spine has, like, got a curvature in it. I've got a scoliosis. And it's to do with balance, I think, my spelling. I don't know whether it is a, a full-on dyslexia that I have or whether it's just an imbalance. Because it's like astronauts. When NASA sends their astronauts to space, when their astronauts return, they can't spell for Toffee for some time until they get their bearings back. And then they can spell again. Look it up. It's a real thing. I've done my research, I guess. Sweet. Coolio. Yeah. I'm just uh, reading your chat there. Okay, if you do do, yes, if you do do indeed you do 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 do, heck yes, yeah, of course. Let's go over this way then. I'll try to up that way. And I'll lock this in, and as we're warping, I'll read the rest of the chat. Oh, we've got Dark Hellboy in the house. Hello, Dark Hellboy. I love Dark Hellboy's builds and base builds, they're always exciting, heck yes. Ah, Red Dragon. I watch the videos of folk docking and undocking their boats as some go wrong. Yes, I know it's a terrible thing, laugh out loud. I found that streamers that does the same thing in Star Citizen as he sits there. They're yeah, cool. Nice. Red Dragon Part 2. Watches people take off and land at ports. Very funny stuff. I took off once at night time in Star Citizen. I shouldn't have done that. I couldn't tell which was up and which was down. I crashed my ship and ended up in a medical bay in my pants. Yeah, it's quite a tough game. It's more tough than Elite Dangerous, to be honest. I got three videos of me playing Star Citizen on this laptop. And it's a little bit janky, a little bit juddery. But that's something they still haven't done with Star Citizen. It's not well optimised, or it wasn't the last time I played it. I watched a recent video that they've now tried to implement server meshing where they have three or four servers meshing the same instance of a map. So when you go somewhere and you're moving from section to section, it's actually hosted on different servers and it load balances the amount that it has to actually put into game. And apparently Star Citizen on this server meshing instance is now unbelievably smooth. I have to wait to see it in action, but it might be that I could even play Star Citizen even on my laptop. So even if you know, Squadron 42 comes out, there's a chance I might be able to deliver it in edited mode from my laptop. We'd have to see. Might have to fiddle with the graphic settings massively. Cool. Anyway, Ultra Planet quality has been buggy forever. I'll stick to high on that, says Pharaoh. Oh, thanks for the heads up. I didn't know that. I have seen screen tearing on some instances, so yeah. Cool, yeah. Hey, uh, Dark Hellboy. Well, welcome, welcome. There is no sanctuary, only communion. I'm close now. I am close to the end. The truth of the universe is fire. The soul is light. Light, no fire? Hold on, that, that's a bit mental, isn't it? Was that always in there, people? I'm at the experiment. The Observer. All creation constructed for my journey. I see the universe around me and I know that it is God. That is really weird that it's got light and fire inside of the same sort of paragraph. If that's always been there, that's, that's something I didn't pick on that before. Well, you wouldn't, would you? I see the universe around me and I know that I should create my own. Okay. Sub succumb. Milestone Viking or above. Not no, not long now, not far to go. The stars beckon with a cold fire, and I rush to meet them. 
soon, very soon. People inside the viewers, at what point do I refuse the atlas? Is it at the very last one where you create the star seed or whatever it is? Okay. I can't even remember what the last one blanking is, mate. So, right. Well, I'll just get rid of one of my refiners. Aha. I need to... I might as well just leave it in freaking creative mode for a bit, mightn't I? While we do all this jumping. Zoom. Created. Done. Let's go. We're up again, people. We're up again. Oh, yeah. I know there's a bit of a delay, so if you type in a reply, I know I'm going to have to wait for it for a little while. But it's all right, because we've still got quite a lot of warping to do. Yeah, I don't want to go and select the wrong option. But then again, I could just create a save, can I, just in case I do go and fluff it up. Because I'm very good at fluffing things up. I learn by mistakes, and I make a lot of mistakes, so I learn quite a lot. Is that a bad thing? Probably. And now we're off. Kaboom. I'm done. Chicka pow pow. Heck yeah. Zoomy. I'm just having a look around, see if there's anything else I can show you inside of my room where I'm sitting. Mm. Oh, there's a trophy over here. Wow. <coughs> trophy that me and Ivy got. We got best dressed couple or something like that. What does it say? Oh, bloody hell. BMD UK Valentine's. 2024 couple of the night yeah we was, because of the way we was dressed and was dancing and stuff we got couple of the night me and ivy very nice yes i'm waiting for shuttle building says dark lord zelric i don't think you're gonna have to wait too long for shuttle building i kind of feel we'll probably see that before year end to be honest but i think the reason that we might not have got to see the shuttles already is i kind of feel that hello games might give them a bit of a spruce up a bit of a polish you know, like how they did with the Explorer ships. I'm wondering if they're working on something like that for the shuttles. There's a couple of shuttles that are slightly broken, slightly janky in the way that they actually fit together anyway. Um, there's like, there's one that's got these like hubcaps that stick out the side. And on one side, they're sort of sucked in a bit. Yeah, there's a, there's a couple of shuttles that are weird. I've had a few shuttles now that when I'm in this view, like cockpit view, I'm sitting behind the chair and I, it, it's all disjointed. I've scrapped a couple of shuttles because of that. I know in their patch notes they said that they had fixed that just after I scrapped my poxy shuttle. But yeah, I do have a shuttle still inside of my actual range of ships. A shuttle that I quite like, which is a little bit of an odd thing to say. You know, it's like saying you like being poked in the eyes. Okay, there you go. I'm heading over then. I'm fairly sure there's people out there that love shuttles, but I'm not one of them. I've got one that I like. I can tolerate it. There we go. Lovely. Hello, Atlas. Don't turn away. No our inescapable truth and despair. The final interface is revealed. The Atlas beckons. I am elated, terrified, broken. I have come so far. It wishes for me to obey. I am to hold the power of creation. Will it be in chains? Do I refuse here? Or no? I don't, I don't know. Right. I hit, I hit a bay, maybe. I'm gifted power. I am enslaved to the imitation of life. Okay, I've been given the heart of the sun. Is that what I wanted, or did I want to refuse there? Right. Hold on. I'm just gonna, re I'm just gonna reload. Uh, I go for that one. Six thirty-eight. Okay. I'm fairly sure no one loves shuttles. They might think they do. They're clearly deluded. <laughs> I have my shuttle from Atlas Rises, and that shuttle has been a unique story behind it on how I got it. Yeah, I think if you've got some sort of story or, or kinship with your shuttle, then fair enough. But a lot of the shuttles look like toilet roll holders, or they look like they've been made out of bits of old hair dryers and stuff. There's some that I like that have got like the pod wings that almost look like something from Star Wars, like rebel type ship parts. Well, that's the sort I like. I like the flat ones with those on the end wings. Um, other than that, I, I don't really like a lot of the shuttles. They look a little bit strange. 
Okay, let's go talk to it again then. And let's see if I can refuse it this time. Smells like dinner's ready. I can smell that. It smells like she's doing fried chicken. Okay, here we go. Right, I'm going to refuse it this time and see what happens. If I venture through, then all that I have done, all that I have become, becomes null, like null entry. I refuse, I would not be able to unmake the universe to satisfy the Atlas. Oh. All right. Well, it's supposed to give you the seed of the, the uh, refuser or something, isn't it? All right, so maybe... I'm just going to refuse one more time. Alright, it's not this one then. Cool. Let's do this then. Obey! Righto, so it wasn't that one that I have to refuse. So it must be a latter one or something. But it did say that was the last one, so it really threw me for a loop. Okay, let's go. Oh, my days. That's gone really blurry wary, hasn't it? It's like I need freaking glasses. Zoom. Approach this first seed chamber. What was that? I don't know what that was all about. Atlas seed chamber. What the? What the actual flying fudge you on about, mate? Okay, let's go then. Donk. Donk. Zoom. I got it with the capital freighter stats at the end of time. I had double complexity slots, and no slots could be seen by pirates. Oh, nice. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, sweet. Yeah, because there used to be, like, um, some sort of salvage compartment. It was only on haulers originally, then I think... They put it on shuttles, and then they got rid of it altogether, didn't they? Well, you're lucky if you've still got a contraband compartment or whatever, if that's what I'm understanding. Nice. And we've arrived. Okay, it's flying in then. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure how to align myself with the Atlantid now, people. This is getting rather odd. But after I've actually aligned myself to the Atlantid, I'm not too sure what else I'm going to be doing, to be honest, when it comes to this save. I'll probably just be waiting for the next update to see if they actually complete the four-part ARG arc and to see whether these choices actually make much of a difference. Okay. I thought this is where you refuse the Atlas, you get given the mark of the the refuser or whatever. This would suck if I go and select the wrong option. Dun, 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 dun. Then again, hopefully Hello Games will give us the ability to change our choice or action. Perhaps. In the, in the next update. Who knows? Cool, yeah. I don't suppose any of you know Right, anyway, I'm going to hit up all these little pedestals right now. Yeah, yep, yeah, have it. Okay, here we go again then. Done. Okay, and that one. Lovely. There you go. Now, you're probably hearing all those machine whirly twirly noises. Well, look, it puts that light up. That plinth goes up. Boom. It's pretty epic. And they have, in, they have improved all the lighting in here. It does feel kind of a little bit more epic than before. Still time consuming as heck, though, isn't it? But then again, there's supposed to be some gravitas with this. You know, you're you're about to 
birth a new star or something, aren't you? So. Here we go. Last one. Take that. Okay, now do I refuse something? Let's have a look, see then. Clarity, truth, actuality, Pasugi. We still don't know what Pasugi is, do we? You know, people have been asking that all over Reddit for freaking years. I stand at the interface of the Atlas. I stand at the Forge of Worlds. This is how it shows me what it was. This is how the Atlas shared the nature of its life, the workings of its mind. I never required prayer. It never required worship. All that it asked of me, all it ever wanted, was just input. I was just a user. I can feel the seeds, their hidden knowledge gravitating towards the interface's core. The void is meant to be filled. Nothingness yearns for a soul. If I do this, a star will be born. Okay. I will become more than ever thought possible. Do I birth a new star at this point? Or do I just walk away and return to the freaking galaxy? Well, I'm going to try that first. Let's see what happens. I have barely begun to formulate this heresy within my mind when I feel the response, the tidal swell of crimson light that begins to rise behind my eyes. The Atlas is all creation, all purpose in this universe. It calls for progress. It calls for me. Deny the Atlas. Here we go. This is where I deny the Atlas. Here we go. Let's do it. I leave the Atlas alone, abandoned. I feel it begin to scream, a silent shriek that echoes across all space and time. There we go, that's what we wanted. The mark of the denier. That's how you get it, people in the view of us, I guess. A tiny motor stardust, no more than a speck on closer examination. The surface is crystalline, shards and distorted crimson geometry. It flickers with pent up energy, demanding to be free. The mark you discover systems. Okay, the mark as you discover systems planets and objects across the universe okay empower the mark all right fair fair enough we better make that then sorry mr atlas sorry i'll get rid of um them and we'll make that where are you well where the fudge is it oh for fudge sake Heart of the Sun? No, that's that's not it. Have I already got it or something? Well, I don't poxy see it. Memory of Conquest, the fragment of the Atlas. Is that it? I've already got one of them ones. And it's just there. Okay. Oh no, hold on. That one is State of Fasior. Memory of Conquest. Is a, it would help if it gave it a freaking better icon, wouldn't it? Alright, I guess we got that then. Reveal Memory. Here we go. X. Hmm. Well, maybe you don't do that inside of here. I don't really know what you do with it, to be honest. This is a little bit unintuitive. It really is, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it goes into tech, does it? Aha! There we go. There we are. We've now got it in tech. Thank you, Dark Lord Zelrik. Heck yes! Lovely job, Lou. Coolio, so we've now got it. That's that's exactly what I wanted to actually manage to complete a cake inside of this episode. When we get outside of here, I'd have a look at it better inside of tech and see if it actually does anything. I don't really know what you've got to do with it, to be honest. I've seen other people play about with it, but I haven't bothered watching their videos because I didn't really want to ruin it for myself. Who did I see? I thought Seal the Structure did a video on it, and I think Ghostlight's done a video on it. And both of them, I think, say that at the moment it doesn't feel like it's a complete thing. Okay, right. Well, uh, let's go into the old tech then. Okay. A tiny motor stardust. I'm not too sure what I do with it. Okay. Discover systems, planets and objects across the universe. Alright. I guess it's just going to do that on its own accord then as we go. 
Charge equipment with nanite clusters. All right. Fine, I guess. All right, well, it's there anyway. Okay, well, I guess we'll just press on doing the purge in my next episode, people, which will be next Monday. We'll be doing the purge. Because that's the next mission to do. You know, I've just shunned the Atlas, but I guess we're going to be interfacing with the Atlas to do that. I'm just going to fly into this station and look to see if I can sort of um, take a little sit down in there. Ah, Pharaoh's also done a video. You know what, Pharaoh? I will probably go and watch your video straight after this then and learn it myself on it because I really like your videos. Your videos are quite knowledgeable, my friend. I guess, people, if you haven't checked out Pharaoh's channel, please do. He's done some awesome videos. And it'd be nice to get them over the thousand subscribers fresh hold if they haven't already hit it already. But yeah, check them out. Awesome stuff, itch. I guess. Okay, well, let's fly on in. Because, yeah, I was trying to work out how Guild Envoys worked. I had an inkling. I had an idea. And I saw other people on Reddit having the same sort of idea as well. And I, I sort of put a video out on my own experimentations, but I couldn't be sure. But then Pharaoh done a video, and he's also done experimentations, and it looks like it is actually a thing in the way that we worked out how guilds work. They work by system, an area, a region of the galactic map. Anyway, people, um, I'm going to exit out of here. Bam, bam, and quit to desktop. There we go. Chikapow! And then over here, I can jump back over to me for a bit, can't I, people? I guess. Why wait so long, says Gothic Viper. How do you mean, why wait so long? What, until the next episode? Till next Monday? Um, mainly because I'm playing Dragon's Dogma right now, and I'm freaking loving Dragon's Dogma too. And um, with No Man's Sky, because there's not a lot of content to be doing right now, because Orbital, as good as Orbital was, it's delivered in a lot of cosmetics, but it hasn't really delivered in a lot for us to do. So what I have got left to do, I want to take my time with. I'm, I'm in no rush to get it done. Um, so after I've done the um, the purge, I want to do Dreams of the Deep, and then I want to do the Outlaws mission. I want to get my own little Laylapse droid. I'd, I'm just going to do all the different story arcs, all the different story arcs that are available inside of uh, No Man's Sky. And then after that, I'm probably going to be focusing on doing a few derelict runs, getting S-Class modules and powering up my freighter and concentrating on my frigate fleet to get them all up to S-Class and seeing what interactions we get. I'm probably going to do that ambiently as I do other stuff. I don't know. I'll work it out as and when it comes. But like I say, not really in a rush because I don't think we're going to see another update now until the current Quicksilver items are completely exhausted. We've got three ice statues to go and then we've got three decals to go. After they've gone, there's nothing else lined up inside the Quicksilver store that I know of. So I'm wondering whether there's going to be an update maybe mid-May. And when I say an update, I think it's probably going to be an expedition and probably something small, uh, quality of life things in-game, but also delivers in Quicksilver items for the store. That's what I think. And I kind of hope that Hello Games are going to add in ship parts as uh, Quicksilver items. You know, so you can actually buy maybe some new tints for your ships maybe the gold color so you can make your own golden vectors maybe they might add in a couple of custom ship parts if you cast your mind back to the custom artwork that came out the concept artwork for ships there was a lot of parts that didn't actually make it into game it could be that hello games makes those old parts and because they're old parts, maybe they might hide them in the void or inside the realm of glass. Maybe that might become a thing. So you can delve in and pick up the bits from old concept days. That'd be freaking awesome. But anyway, people, that's kind of a little bit of speculation there to wet your whistle with. That's kind of what I'm hoping happens. But, you know, it never, it might not ever happen. Why does it seem like I'd never finish collecting all the words for each race? I actively am looking for knowledge stones to help with dialect. But I have... 32 not found oh that sucks well they just added in a load of new words anyway they've added in a whole load of new words for each of the races when i say a load it's probably about you know count them on one hand it's probably about three or four for each one of the different races mainly around profit and trade i think it's to help with the trade or guild agents that we find up inside the stations but anyway people that's pretty much everything that i've got for you salute to mondo goodbye goodbye and goodbye again